Hey guys, it's Nina, and I was just um, <clears throat> going to share something with you, going to talk to you just for a second that's been on my heart um, today, the past couple of days, and it's just to encourage everyone that, um, you know, with the question, are you listening to God? Are you um, letting him speak to you? Do you know how to hear his voice? Because um, John 10, it explains talks about Jesus as, as the good shepherd and and he wants to speak to his sheep where his sheep and it says that we will know his voice you know the sheep always recognize the shepherd's voice and so God is a God who's near to us and he's speaking to us and he wants to speak to you today he wants to speak into those areas that I don't know about you but I have those tender places that that of, of pain really you know maybe it's from childhood maybe it's from life happening when you're older but they're painful little areas and he wants to come in because he loves you so much and speak into those areas so that you can be set free and um so quick little story about that one of my areas if i was going to be transparent about my life is um i always felt like i wasn't good enough it was something that plagued my life i don't know why i mean I have some reasons, but, you know, maybe it was just the fourth grade little boy who gave me the new kids on the block button and took it away and gave it to my best friend. I don't know. But you have wounds, you know. Some are legit reasons why, and then some aren't. But I was in my 20s, and I just had been plagued my whole life with really never feeling good enough. And um, I didn't know how to put my finger on it, but see the Lord, he did. Um, because one of the very first times that I remember him speaking to me that I can remember was um, when he told me, he said, Nina, you're good enough for me. See, one word from God changes the whole situation. One word from God changes it all. And when he told me I'm good enough for him, it changed the course of my life forever. It freed me up. It, it not only freed me up, but it freed everyone else up. Because some of the stuff I had projected, they deserved it. Some of them, some of it didn't. But none of that mattered what I was in people's eyes because the God of all creation had spoke directly to me, to my heart, that I was good enough. That was years ago. That was, you know, 15 years ago at least. And, you know, I'm here to say that when God speaks, it's always the same. It never goes away. You can draw on that by faith. And there are times that I have to draw on that. You know, somebody says something that creeps up. Maybe it's just the enemy whispering in my ear that you're never going to be good enough. But you know what? Because I could hear my shepherd's voice, I can draw on that. And I pull that out and I say, you know what? I was good enough. I am good enough for the God of all creation. So that's enough. So I just want to encourage you. That's my story on that one little area that one word, one word from your shepherd can change everything for you. So if you don't know how to hear God's voice, if you don't know that you can hear his voice, if you, if you aren't in tune with that, I am just encouraging you today. Read John 10. Get faith up to be able to hear his voice, get some teaching on it, some proper teaching, because God is wanting to speak to his people always. I mean, I was going to say more than ever, but really he's always wanting to speak to you. He's wanting to be your very best friend and he wants you to hear him as much as you want to hear him. He wants you to hear him. So I'm just encouraging you today just to be hungry, to hear the voice of God and to seek after him with all your heart because he wants you to. He wants to speak to his people today and he wants his sheep to clearly know his voice. So I'm just praying for you. I'm praying for me. I'm praying for the body of Christ that we're going to hear our shepherd clear and loud. Have a great day.